What is up, YouTube? My name is Avi, aka Juggernaut. Opening packs here for Mo the Collector. We have got a Japanese box of Battle Region. It is Japan's newest Pokemon set. It'll come out here in the United States at some time, but let's crack right into this box, see what we can get. So like I said, the name of the pack, or the name of the set, is called Battle Region. When the variants come out in America, or the United States, or the English set, I should say, uh, the name will change, so it won't be called Battle Region. Just like Brilliant Star wasn't Brilliant Star, it was Starbirth. I believe when it was in the Japanese set before it came out in the uh, the uh, English set. So with these packs, we there's some pretty nice stuff in here. There there are some, of course, brand new secret rares. There's some brand new shinies. Uh, but what we're looking for, what I'm looking for, ideally, is something called a sparkling card. So a sparkling card is essentially it's one of three cards. Uh, Heatran being one of them, Halucha being one, and I don't remember what the third one is. Um, but they're essentially shiny Pokemon. Shiny Pokemon. Think of them like what the shiny Pokemon would look like from like Shining Fates or something along those lines. Uh, pretty much just like that. So I'm actually going to separate these into two piles. So that way I get a pretty evening opening and distribution on my table. Keep it as even as possible. And as I get to opening and putting these cards together, guys, we do have a Twitter. We've got a Twitter where we tweet the tweets. So if you haven't checked us out on Twitter, go ahead and check us out on Twitter at Mo the Collector. Information is down below at Mo the Collector on Twitter. I'm gonna pull out a pair of scissors to open up these packs because Japanese packs tend to not be friendly with me when it comes to doing them in the rip tab. And for those of you who are not familiar with Japanese packs, the way the card trick works is you take one from the back, put it to the front, you flip it over, and then you oh well, never mind. It's a special edition, so it's going to look different. We got Impopitas, which uh, you, you got to love it. So this is kind of like the Legends Arceus background. And then the foiling on the card is very unique compared to what you would get. Hippopotas. Okay. Um, there's already something good in this pack. I can see it. We got a Carvana. That's not a Carvana. That's Vasculin. We got a trainer card. Miss Magius. And then we got a Starmie V. Let's start off this amazing battle region box. And just so you know, when it comes to cards from Japanese sets, you're always guaranteed a secret rare. Now, in a Japanese set, a secret rare is a full art or greater. So, that doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to be getting a bunch of full arts from this box. I could just be getting one full art, uh, but that's okay. I don't think... Or we're going to find out. Okay, so the last card is always going to be a foil in these sets. Normally, when it comes to Japanese packs, when it's non-special edition, the last card... Uh, is not your best card necessarily, but it looks like the last card in each one of these sets is going to be a foil of sorts. And we got a Galate foil card. And you can see the foiling on the Japanese cards is very different than the foiling on the American cards. The entire card is foiled, um, including the photo itself. So, cool. All right, let's break into some more of these packs. If you guys really like to see Battle Region and you want to see at least one pack every day, keep in mind I have another box, but that box is going to be open solely as shorts. So make sure you stay tuned for Mo the Collector uh, and the shorts that we're going to be pumping out here because those shorts will be Battle Region. And again, everything in Battle Region is mostly going to be uh, based off of Legends Arceus. Chandelier. Followed by a Whiskash. Not a Whiskash, Barboach. I do like these, these rarity cards because like the Pokeball, you can see the Pokeball, but even then like only the top part of the Pokeball is shiny. The rest of the card it's, it's, it's nice. I mean, the rest of the card is foil, um, but I'm glad I get one of these out of every pack. I'm really excited to see what my secret rare is going to be in here. And what are some of the other V cards that we're going to get? So there are websites you can go on and look and see what some of the cards are, but hey, you also get a taste of it here watching me open up. Litwick, Swinub, Rhyhorn, Hippowdon with a crustle in the background. Ooh, a Samurott V. Hisuian Zamorod V. Ooh, I don't know if he... I know Typhlosion in this set is one of the shiny cards. I don't think Samurai is. It'd be cool. And then we got a Character Rare Rosary. I recently caught an Alpha one of these in Legends Arceus. And I forgot that there were Character Rares in this set. So, our first Character Rare, which is a Rosary. Not a bad Character Rare to get either. The Rosary is a really good Pokemon. I was really happy. I just... It just so happened Legends Arceus update came out where they were doing massive mass outbreaks and I saw one which was a Rosalia outbreak with the, with the star on it to let you know that it could be, you know, a Roserade, an Alpha Rosalia, or an Alpha Roserade. Turns out it was an Alpha Roserade and last Pokemon popped up, shiny. So I was like, sweet! I'll take that. Combi, it's a female, that means it can evolve into a Vespa Queen if it wants to. 
Knocked out. Ooh, baby, there's our secret rare. We got a full art Typhlosion V. He's so fabulous. He is the most fabulous of fabulous. Woo! My vampire boy. Even though he wasn't the starter that I started off with in the game, I started off with Decidueye. Still a nice secret rare. So that is our one guaranteed secret rare for the box. There is the chance that there may be another, but you're only guaranteed one. And our one, I love the way these cards look in the Japanese set, like especially the texture foiling. Like it looks so cool in the background. I love how he's just so nonchalant, he just doesn't care. He's so flamboyantly fabulous and I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. I also like getting Japanese sets too. Uh, bigger reason is because like, you know, it's a taste of what's to come. Even though the cards aren't necessarily valued the same as English or American sets, I still love it. I still love it. Hey, another one! God Chop V. Chop it, chop it, chop it. Followed by, hey, that's a nice looking rare. Woo, our actually is uncommon. Mammoth Swine. Wow. Mustache. Mustache, I must ask you a question. I thought that was gonna be a rare for sure. I guess not. I must ask you a question. Wow, well, I'm happy with that pack. That was a nice pack, bro. That was a good pack. God, Chambo Mukar Chambo for you. I can see him for a little bit. Before he gets covered up by the next rare card, Japanese packs do take a good hot second for me to open, too. Again, I, I gotta cut each pack open individually, so. Plus, this is the first look we're getting at this set before it comes out in America, so. Might as well take our time, right? Right, Furrier. We got. Yes! Yes, 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 sparkling heat train. We got one of the cards that I've been looking for. This is one of my chase cards. Heat train, Halucha is really the one that I've been looking forward to, but heat train is my second chase card. And, and so this one, spark, like if you look at it, it's so prismatic. It looks so fantastic. And heat train himself, even though you can't super tell on it, is a shiny Pokemon on this card. What a gorgeous card. Oh, I am so glad I got one. And then we got another character rare, Chandelure. Oh, and this is nicely textured too. That's such a oh, oh! I'm so happy with that one. Yes, 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 yes. Mmm. Mmm. I'm gonna have my cake and eat it too today. Got a friggin' Typhlosion and a sparkling Heatran. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, wow. That's a great card for the set. I don't even know how the sparklings are gonna work if they translate over to the English set. I mean. It could be like the Amazing Rares, in a sense, but just the way it shines. I love the fact that it's called a sparkling card. You'll sit next to Typhlosion, because I said so. Because I say it so. Ugh! I'm trying not to react too hard. My dog is downstairs. She's taking a, a little nap. I had to put her down for a little nap because she was very grumpy today. And then when I wake her up, I'll take her for a double E-OK, -okay, and we'll have a good time. I can't even say the word anymore, because when I say the word, she freaks out. Miltake! And then Hippowdon. Again, beautiful looking uh, artwork and foiling on these Japanese cards. Yeah, I can't even say the word, because when I say the word, she freaks out. I don't know if you all have dogs that freak out when you say the W word. I'm not going to say it, because I don't want your dogs to freak out. I like when somebody says the A-L-E-X-A word, and it triggers your A-L-E-X-A to do something. I really wish I could scream like, hey, subscribe. Hey, another Typhlosion. Typhlosion V to go with the full art Typhlosion. I like the Typhlosion V card. That artwork is really cool. Very ghosty. Very ghosty. Followed by a... Oh, no. I almost said Carbon again. Vascular. Followed by... Ba oh, look at that print line. You see, see the print line? Holy crap. All right. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. We're not even halfway done with the box yet. Oh, my goodness. It's taken me a good hot minute. All right, so there's, let me let me show you what I'm talking about. There's a rip tab on the Pokemon packs, but whenever I try to go for the rip tab, like I end up messing up the pack. Well, actually that wasn't so bad. Maybe I'll try the rip tab for the second half of the box because I like you guys. Hordish, I think the only issue I ever have with Japanese cards is that I can never resell them. Pyroar, and then, ooh, Overquill. I can't, re like if I try to resell them, I have to resell them online but none of my local game shops buy Japanese cards because they, they have nothing to do with them again they're not really playable you can use them as fillers for your deck if you need to but they're not you can't use them in competition I don't think overquill 
Wow, Plume. That's a rare. And then a trainer card. I don't know what the trainer cards are in the set, by the way, so forgive me. Did they improve the rip tabs on these? Because I'm having such an easy time. This is incredible. This is incredible. I should open these. Ooh! I didn't think I'd get another one. We got a Decidueye V-Star. I sounded really spazzy just now. I'm so sorry. But I didn't expect to get another card out of, like, a not a trainer rare or a V card. But nice. <laughs> Every card that I have a really good, like, second to last card, I get a character rare card. So we got um, a Weird Ear character rare as well. Ooh, I am... This is a pretty fire box. I can't wait to do the YouTube shorts for this. Um, let's move Typhlosion to the back for now, because we got a Typhlosion in the front already. And we'll go ahead and double sleeve our Decidueye boy. This is the card that I started off my um, my Legends Arceus game with. Oh, not this card, this Pokemon. Whatever I, you know what I meant to say. This is the Pokemon I started off Legends Ar Arceus with. Decidueye, because I just, I always feel like I lack in fighting type Pokemon whenever I play a Pokemon game. I was like, for the fact that it is a grass fighting type, I couldn't pass that up. Could not pass that up. I wasn't really into getting a dark or a ghost type Pokemon with Typhlosion or a Samurai, you know? That's just me. Absol, who was not in Legends Arceus. And Lampin! As, I don't want to call it the reverse foil rare, but I guess I will. The Poke, the Poke Sparkle rare. The Sparkle Ball rare. <laughs> Sparkle Ball. The Sparkle Ball rare. Hoot hoot. Rosalia. Uh, there's the commander. Hey, Miltank. Silene, I think that's how you say her name, Silene? Miltank. Followed by a Vespa Queen. Uncommon. It's interesting the rarities that you see in the set too. Like what cards would be rares in one set versus not rares in other sets. I also think we're gonna be getting Abracadabra and Alakazam back eventually after that lawsuit's been lifted. Look at that Gloom artwork. That is fantastic. I love the way that looks. Poochiana. Ooh, Cleavor. Hey, Cleavor. It's rare. It's a very shiny rare. Followed by Litwick. Aw, he's so cute. He's Liddy and he's Wiki. Wiki Wiki Fresh. Liddy Wikipedia. All right, keep moving. Sandler, over Quill. We got a weird ear. We got a weird ear. It's interesting to see these in the card game now. Followed by a Mamoswine. I may have said something wrong earlier. No, Piloswine. That's Pilot. No, that is M Mamoswine. That that one's Mamoswine. Swinub, Mamoswine, Piloswine. I think. Correct me down below because I'm a new. Oh my god! Did we really get another V-Star? A Typhlo- We got three- This is the box with all the Typhlosions, followed by a Scyther. This- I- I had to stop talking for a second. I- I am floored. I did not think I'd be getting this much stuff out of this box. Not only did we get a Decidueye V-Star, we also got a Typhlosion V-Star, a Typhlosion V, and a Typhlosion V Full Art. I, oh wow, okay, so let's move some cards around because these Typhlosions have to all go together. That only makes sense, right? We got, and we'll do it in terms of like, how good they are. Typhlosion, Typhlosion V, and then Typhlosion V-Star. I don't know if he's necessarily better than Typhlosion V, but hey, he's gonna go there. I'm trying to get them all on camera. Look at those beautiful cards, look at those beautiful boys. I'm sorry, I had to stop for a second. I was not prepared for that. I looked at it, I saw it, I processed it, but I didn't believe it was real. I didn't believe it was happening. And that doesn't happen to me very often. Oh, Diancy! I didn't know she was in the set. Okay. And then right. Two more packs left. I don't. If this box has anything else left in it, that's gonna be a major surprise to me. Um, I would not be dis. I will not be disappointed if it doesn't have anything else in it. But, man, I have loved Battle Region so far. Keldeo. What? Keldeo is a rare in this set. And then we got another one of those uh, Rowan Ancestors. And then we got our last pack of Battle Region. It was nice to see our Seeker being a full art Typhlosion. 
I don't know if we're gonna get anything else. If we do, again, it is pretty much ancillary at this point because this box has been so generous to me. Basque Legion is only an uncommon, that's crazy. And then Decidui V. Oh, not only did we get the V Star, we got the V. We actually got all three starter Pokemon as V cards. Typhlosion, Samurott, and Decidui. So, that's a really good box. And then Stantler to go with the weird year that we pulled earlier. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this Battle Region Booster Box. I am excited for this set to come out when it does come out um, in the American set. But that is all the content we have. I really love the set. I love this is I, I know this is my favorite card. I'll be honest with you. All these cards look gorgeous in and of themselves. Sparkling Heat Train is my favorite card. Guys, if you like the content and if you like the new set, go ahead and throw a thumbs up in the video down below. We would really appreciate it. Also, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. Working hard to try to get you guys a lot of content and make sure that you can see everything that we're doing, everything that we're collecting. All of the stuff is for sale too. If you see anything in here that you're interested in, please let us know. You can email us or comment down below, but go ahead and subscribe if you haven't had the chance either. Subscriptions really help us out, really help us grow the community, grow the content as well. So if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. I hope you all do so. I hope I continue to see your bright shining faces in each one of our videos. But until next time, stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe. My name's Avi, aka Jugnut, opening packs from Mother Collector. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!